Alrighty, hello everybody, my name is Techie Farmboy, or Eddie, or Ben, or whatever y'all want to call me. Um, today we're go I'm going to be doing, um, an not animating, um, uh, 3D modeling, um, and explaining my th process thoroughly. Um, let me switch the game over to block bench block bench block bench um is it going to Hang on. Add display capture one. There we go. Okay. Now we put it underneath my VTuber and all right. Okay. So I have a commission today. It is for somebody named Amber Drexa on twitter.com so let me go and grab our ref sheet for today and yes I will have to I will not have to but I will be explaining the process basically um so I need to this says Dex. No, it's Drexa. Okay. So, doesn't look like they have fur. It's going to be a generic protogen, essentially. Um. Early Xbox 360 low poly. So, Amber Drexa. No, wait, no. Drex Amber. Hi, Eggnog. Hi. Alright, I'm going to... I'm trying to put on some music to go behind this, but... Partial to lo-fi. Drex Amber jump scare. Ah! I'm so scared! Ooh, eh. Okay. So, what we do normally, what I do normally, I mean, is I grab, I have a couple of different plugins that I use. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through all of my plugins. And that's all of the plugins I have. And it makes it super easy to basically do whatever um, I want without having to worry about like, this program's limitations. So what I need to do is I need to get a mesh, a cuboid mesh. And I just have it there, right? So this is going to be setting up for the uh, 
for the ref sheet image in the background. So we're going to set this. This texture should be Drexa. So we are going to go to face. I'm not sure if it's the right face or the wrong face. We'll see. Wrong face, apparently. Um, just give me all of the faces. There we go. And so, we've only got a half body, which is a bit of a problem. But that's not really something that I need to worry about. We're gonna, what I'm gonna do is... I can go and take one of the models I've already made, basically. Um, and we're just gonna kind of work off of it. We're definitely gonna be doing some improving, because the last time I used this model specifically, or like any of that type of model was like a while ago, so... It will be having some improvements, and I will be able to teach a lot of stuff. It's not showing me how far... Oh wait, no it is, okay. I'm just a bit stupid. So we're gonna go up. Just really quickly, just do that. So, first off, delete everything that we don't need. So like hair, all of that can just go away, basically. Be gone. Except for that. We need that to stay. Um. There is no armor, so we don't need these plates. And there is no armor down here either, so we don't need that. I'm assuming there is no armor down there. So, what we're left with now is like a little, it's, it's a little cutout, basically, of what we need to create and how we need to go about this. So, let me check really quickly to make sure that there are no faces that are facing the way that they're supposed to be doing because if they don't face the way that they're supposed to go then they will end up messing with how it looks in game like in vr chat and such the faces being green is definitely a good thing that's definitely what you want all right so Uh, by the way, if y'all have any, like, good stream music playlist recommendations, please send them to me on Discord, because I have no idea what music to do. So, first thing we want to do, we want to stretch out these legs a little bit, because what they normally should be doing... Wait, Drexa, do you want them, um, just straight up and down, or do you want them to be digit grade like how they are right now I'm not entirely sure I think for now I'm gonna go digit grade until Drexa answers what um what she wants up and down all right so then we'll take this this little slice in the legs will still be very useful to us 
because what it'll let us do is basically we when we get into the weight painting section of the model which is definitely going to be in a later stream i'm not feeling weight painting today i'm probably gonna do this for an hour and then we're gonna play a little bit of observation duty because i've heard that's a really good streaming game but um basically what we want to do is while we're doing weight painting i'll be able to have two bones on the leg and then i can use that little seam as the knee but it doesn't look like it'll be able to be used because it's a bit deformed so we're gonna add mesh real quick we're gonna select cylinder we're gonna have all of these these are already gonna be there and we're gonna size this down until it's like a good size um, scoot it over just a tiny bit. Get it in line with the, uh, the feet. And we're, we are going to be doing some advanced modeling tactics as well later on. Like, um, how I got it to not just be, like, circles and squares and all that. And, like, how I actually got it to be somewhat okay-ish. So, like, for instance, here, you can see that it's clipping through the, it's clipping through the, um, the foot, right? So, what we want to do is we want to take these four vertices, these gray dots, those are called vertices. We must, we want to select them all. And we're just going to ever so slightly just move them back. And now that's going to give us a little bit more definition within the leg area as well, because it's going to give it a little bit of an angle. So what we want to do is we also want to loop cut here. And we're going to resize just a tiny bit. Give it a little, little, little bit of a thicker leg, you know. Um... And then we're going to go up here and we're going to kind of normalize that thicker leg area a little bit and make it not angle back down. Um, and it, it, it looks subtle, but that's kind of what we want to be going for because we're going to be going for a low poly Xbox 360, as she put it, look. And subtlety was a big part of Xbox 360 model era. Because they had to hide a lot. Um, hang on. Xbox 360 game 3D models. No. No, the, none of this is what I want. Um. Okay, yeah. Let's use this, um. Xbox. Models resource. Let's use Sonic 06, actually. Let's go to. Sonic, right? And I'm going to open up Blender real quick. So here's Blender. Um, we're gonna go into general, get all that out of the way, import dot dae. And then we need to go down to Sonic. Where, where's Sonic the Hedgehog? 
Xbox 360 Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Oh. Oh, where's his face? Alright. So we have this, right? Hi, Yuhi. Hello. Okay, so we have Sonic the Hedgehog, right? We have him. Now, he looks alright. He looks pretty smooth, right? But if we go into wireframe, you can see that he is definitely not smooth. And even more so if we go ahead and shade flat. Xbox 360, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> so you can tell that there's not... It's more so the computer does more for the illusion than anything else. And uh, at the end of the day, it's still like super low poly. And Xbox had to account for that a lot. But yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to be doing here. Um, Drexa, what type of tail do you have? Let me move myself over a little bit as well. Let me move myself down. Make it look a little bit better. There we go. All right. So, we have the same quality of model as Sonic 06. Big poofy, all right, so basically this already. All right, then we're good. So, we have a leg, right? We have the leg. We need to get something along the lines of this. We need to make <laughs> leg. We need to make it look like that. So how we're how we're gonna do that is we are going to actually undo what we did a little bit before. We're going to take all that and curve it curve it back a little bit make another loop cut right here curve it back even further and now it's going to give us the actually no no i think that looks fine we don't need to go for realistic legs all right so we have the legs we have the legs now we need to do the thighs and you can see here there's already a huge difference in terms of like where we started This is where we end it. So we're gonna resize this a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. We don't need as much leg space. And also, we can do without as much thighs as well. Um, vertex snap. So you're gonna wanna Go to vertex snap and then click vertex. And what this can do is basically it can reshape the block that you're modeling with into, or like it can change the position of a vertex to be where you need it to be in relation to another model's vertexes. 
Or vertices, I mean. So, like... I just entirely connected this part up. And there wasn't really any effort needed. Alright. And we're definitely gonna move these legs over a little bit. Because I'm going to need to make a hip area. And also... A chest area. But uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and talk about rotation. Because rotation is a bit weird to do, especially in the program that I'm using, which is block bench. So typically what you want to do is... You want to rotate things, all right? You want to do this with with your stuff and your things. Actually, let's let's make it a better color so that you can see it better. You want to be able to do stuff like this. You want to be able to rotate it all around and have it rotate in the center of your objects instead of wherever else you want it to or wherever else it'll rotate at. Um so what you want to do is you want to have these two objects selected or whichever object you want selected and you're going to want to press center pivot. Uh, is that a cantaloupe? Is that a melon? What is that? Emoji U1 F348. That's a cantaloupe! I got it! I got it! It's a cantaloupe! It's a cantaloupe! Woo! I'm good at recognizing fruits. Woo! All right. My stream keep my like my playback stream keeps on lagging behind for some reason. You are the cantaloupe? Yes, you are. Yuhi on Discord. Thank you, Yuhi on Discord. Alright. So, rotation is going to be a key part of this because of the tail. The tail will need to align with the hips, right? That's gonna be a huge part of this. The tails are generally a huge part of anything VR chat related because everybody loves tails. So we're going to go ahead and create a hip area now. What we're going to do, we're going to actually not get a cylinder or a cuboid. We're going to get a sphere. <sighs> we're going to essentially have what looks like a diaper on the model for a brief period in time. Saw this live randomly, low high. Welcome, Sir Nicolai. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we're basically, it's basically going to look like a diaper for a little bit of a time until we can figure out how we can make it look natural in terms of like, you know, body proportions. Cause like that just looks like a bullet. That looks, That looks all right. What do you think, Drexa? I'm thinking 
it looks all right, but I'm not sure because we're gonna drag the legs over. Actually, it's good. Oh, I don't know why I'm so yawny today. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it looks all right. Okay. <laughs> legs are way too tall. Way too long. Okay. Yeah, let's let's fix that. All right. Grab all of that. Move it down. All right. That looks tall enough, right? Doesn't it? I think that looks tall enough. So now it's time to learn about more specifically vertex editing, vertex merging, all of that cool stuff. So we are going to edit no. Tools? No. Um. Let's just select all. Undo visibility. Chest. All right, so we have this. We are going to essentially, we need to subdivide this, which basically means make it look less polygonal. We need to widen it a little bit, just a tad bit, just a tiny tad bit. And then we need to vertex snap. It's a bit of a process, but we need to vertex snap each and every vertex on this line here to this area down here. And what that's eventually going to do is we're going to merge all of the vertexes that are super close together and their game model. Yeah, game model. It's, uh... Oh, I mean, it can be used in animations. Typically, I don't do animations that much anymore. It's, it's more so games than anything else. Specifically, uh, VR chat. It's going to be a VR chat model. That's, uh, what I specialize in the most, I'd say. But yeah, um, there's going to be a process that we'll do later where it's, it effectively optimizes and also makes the model better by merging all of the vertices that are super close together. And, and it merges all of the bits of the model as well. Which is super helpful for um, for when you just need the models to not go all wonky and stuff. So anyways, we have that down. We have all of that down. Now what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to select all of the faces in there. And unselect these and delete them so now that will be less vertices and faces within the body which means it's it'll be less resource intensive which is good i always love less resource intensive stuff hmm. so now we get to the everything else.
bit. So this looks like it, it, it fits in perfectly fine, but the problem is there's a huge point on the end and it just kind of makes Drexel look like an egg. And I don't want that. So what we're gonna do, we're going to flatten this out. And flatten this out again. And then unflatten this bit, but just a tiny bit. And then unflatten this bit. And that'll look all right. It looks good. It looks good. But now we gotta worry about the feet. So get that now. So now I'm going to duplicate this, center pivot again, and then go to transform and flip Z. No, nope. flip X. There we go. I always get them mixed up. I don't know why, but I always get them mixed up. It's frustrating. And so we now have two right feet. Uh, you could do a right foot creep with that. I don't need to talk anymore. Uh, L foot. So I, I like to name my... I like to name the objects that I use. So that's easier in a process that we'll get into on a later stream called weight painting. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so yawny today. I don't know what's going on. I don't quite like it though. But L thigh. If I can spell thigh right. L leg. And the L's and the R's, if you can't tell, stand for left and right. How long have you been working on this? Um, I just started uh, today. Actually, like, right when I started the stream or so. Um. I think I just need a, a nap or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Or maybe it's some music I'm listening to. Maybe it's that. No, we're not listening to Freebird by Leonard Skinner. Actually. Let's not do that. That sounds pretty good. Let's go with that. All right. So there is still this gleaming, this gleaming issue of um, you know, the 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 the, the chest. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing again, but you know what? Whoa. So cool. Um, it's practically already vertex, vertexed. It, it, it's already vertexed. So now we can move this down. Move it 
back, move it back a little bit, and essentially what I'm going to makes it look like a peanut. Hmm. You're right. Let's Okay, let's not do that! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> okay, we're not doing that. I don't think I need to change that. Um. Yeah, it looks a, it looks a bit squashed. So. Let's take the arms and move them down. So move these down a little bit, and then let's lemon. All right. Alright, alright, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I think this looks much better. Much, much better. Still a bit too long in terms of leggage, though, so... Let's conk it down just a bit. And, um, if Drexa isn't okay with, like, how short they... How short she ends up being in VR chat. There's still a thing that you can do to fix that where, um, you can basically change your height at any time. And so, my only job is to make this look, you know, actually good. And not look like dog crap. Not dog dookie, not anything like that. So we have the tail. It's a bit stretched out, though. I think what we could do, we could just put it in just a bit. Just a tad bit. Just a, just an incy beansy bit. You know, just an incy beansy bit. This is my Trump impression, by the way. I hope you guys like it. It's... So, okay at best, bad at worst. Boom. Okay, so it looks like the ears are not make a Lego animation. I am actually working on trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out a little bit. But, uh, thank you for the suggestion. It looks like the ears aren't as prominent as a f of a figure in the ref, so we're going to have to do something about that. Um... Actually, um, never mind. Okay. Yeah, let's let's make the ears smaller. Drexa, do you want the ears like they are right now, here, or like smaller, like um, and your ref? By the way, just kidding, it looks 
Great, and thank you. Like in the ref. Okay. Okie doke. So we're just going to Tiny Fi. Tiny Fi. And now they won't be as pointy, but um again. I, I like to, I make sacrifices so that things can look a little bit better in terms of like translating from 2D to 3D. I can't have them be like perfect cones because then it just kind of looks a little bit strange. Um, yeah, so now We've got the basics down. We've got the bare basics. We do need to tone that down a lot, though, for in preparation. Prep I can't speak. Preparation for the hair. So, what we're going to do now, discard this model. Um, let me go over to... Google Drive, actually. I need to find... Where is it? Models. Techies 3D modeling portfolio. And we are just going to have a quick scroll through here. And I'm going to try and see if I can find a new version of my models that def that does have like the type of hair that I want, like the smoother models. Oh, uh, I did, I did want to show this, um, on my Twitter eventually, but this is probably the one that I am the most proud of in terms of modeling. But, uh, Gap V1. Dang, okay, I'm not seeing what I need to see, which is a bit frustrating. This is the closest one that I have to new gen, besides like, basic Eddie. So we're gonna have to do the hair somehow. I don't know. I like to try and see if I can repurpose stuff that I've worked on in the past to make it a bit easier on myself. The f what on earth is going on with my music? Oh, okay, we good. We're good. Sorry, just checking my phone while fidgeting with the thing. All right.
so, uh, I'm going to have to think about how I want to do the hair, so in the meantime, I will go ahead and work on the scarf thing. So another one of the tricks that I've learned over time is that what you can do, you can take certain bits and pieces of models like this, you can split them off from the actual model, duplicate, and then link back the original parts back together, merge those by distance, and now you have an entirely new th thing that you can just kind of slightly resize. Slightly resize. Slightly resize. And now you can do that. And then that. And now we have a point for our bandana. Or scarf bandana thingy. So we have that. All right. But now what we want is we want it to taper off a little bit, right? So we're going to we're going to let it taper further down just a tad bit up until this layer. This next layer, I mean. We're going to actually change its color so that we can see it better. Um, Alright. Let me know if the music is too loud for y'all anyways, by the way. So. We have this, right? We go ahead and we don't get rid of the first vertice. We get rid of the second one. Now for this, the resize tool is actually going to be our buddy this time, instead of just the regular movement tool. Saw this randomly high. Welcome, Jaden. Welcome in. I am glad that you decided to join us today. Um, so yeah. We want that. And what I'm doing is I'm creating new faces, new polygons, basically. Between this line, these two vertices that are right there and there. And then these two vertices that are right there, right there, and then these two. And that creates a new line, basically. A new face for me to use. All right, now we have that bit done. We want to remove the head. We have that done, all right? And it makes a perfect little neat little circle right there. Perfect little neat circle. Um, so now we just, you know, kind of do a little bit more maintenance. Make it look a little bit more neat, a little bit more presentable. Nice, yeah. All right. That looks pretty fine. So we have that now. So, this time I'm actually going to use cones, specifically for the hair, actually. Um, what I do, or what I tend to do, I can't really... 
I don't really like using or even modeling care in the first place. Actually, wait, no. Okay. I just had a thought. I just had a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant idea. We are going to wait to do the hair until we get to Blender. And I promise you, I promise you, you will know, you will understand why. Um, this looks cool. Thank you. But yeah, we're going to wait until we get to Blender to work on the hair. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to texture. And texturing is quite fun, actually. I'm Don't worry, by the way, I'm not forgetting about this little clock thingy. Um... Actually, maybe I am forgetting about it. Hang on, hang on. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Alright. We got that grabbed. And now we need to loop cut. And now we have a little band around the arm. So we have that. And now what we need to do is we need to split this up and then slightly increase the size that it takes up in terms of like where it is and then duplicate that bring that up a bit all right and that'll be that'll be pink, I believe. So this top thing will be pink. Um, I do need to go get Paul's, though. That's something I need to go get. Hang on. Let me check. Where do I need to... F Is there anything that already has Paul's? Does Grand Door have Paul's? I can't tell. Grandor being the um, chill, yeah, I, I tend to try to be as chill as possible when it comes to this. What the? What is the Meat King? Why is this on my computer? What is this? What am I looking at? Oh, wait. Okay, this was from my ex. Okay, yeah, no. This was when I tried to model for my ex. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna have to make... We're gonna have to make Paul's the normal way. The old-fashioned way. The, uh... Back in my day, we made paws the normal way. We had to make a sphere. And... Do stuff with that sphere. God, that was horrifying. But yeah, here in about five minutes, I'm a... Uh, Switch from modeling to playing a game called Observation Duty.
All right. And a tiger came and broke the model. What do you mean? Ooh, eh. All right. So you just check real quick. Yeah, okay. So we need to squish this a little bit. Squish it in. Pack it in, pack it up, whatever. Now squish it a little bit further. And now we just move it. And then, or maybe a raccoon, who knows? It's probably those dang raccoons. Those dang raccoons, son. You don't, you ain't know where they been yet. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Um, but yeah, I've, nobody really asked, but I did, I did want to say I've been working on models since I was like, what, nine-ish or so. I've still got a lot to learn about it all though, which is why I only use Blockbench. Because any other program is kind of a slog, a, a squawk, slog, you're five and a half, what do you mean? Wait, are you actually five and a half? Because if, if, if you are, then I'm probably going to have to get you out of here. I'm sorry. I don't take kindly to uh, small children. You just make games and animate on Scratch. Okay, if you're on Scratch, that you're chill. You're chill. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit not smart up in the brain, so I, I can't differentiate between sarcasm and actually or telling a joke and actually... You know, forget it, forget it, forget it. I've, I've seen, like, I've seen, like, three-year-olds with, like, really good reading and Reading comprehension. You're 11, deaf, not lying. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm chill with 11 year olds, I think. I don't like to talk to them that much, but like, they're reaching that point of maturity where like, it's just like, okay, you're getting close to being like an adult. Or, like, a teenager, I mean. And that's that's respectable to me. Drexa, does that look like a good Paul? Yes, okay. Oker doker. So, that's gonna be about it for today in terms of modeling. Um, I'm gonna finish up with the extra touches and then... Best I've seen, thank you. I'm gonna finish up with the extra touches later on down the line, later today. Um, I think tomorrow I'm just gonna do a really quick, like, hour-long stream, because after school, you know? Um, and then probably that'll be when I texture everything and also put it into Blender, which should be fun. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move over to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move over to Amon Observation Duty. 
So I will be right back. All right, I am back. Hang on. Let me remove display capture. Change this to I'm on observation. Do there we go. Okay. So this is a spooky, spooky, scary game. So if y'all don't do well with spooky games, Y'all will probably want to, you know, go ahead and leave. Um, let me edit the... Playing... I'm... On... Observation... Duty. Change this to... Gaming, I'm on All right Don't read chat I'm going to I'm going to read chat um how do you not know the rest of the Phineas and Ferb song? Anyways, um, it is 4.03 for me, and we are going to play I'm on Observation Duty. And yes, I will need to read chat for this. Alright, so... One of the things with this game is you have to observe. You have to be really observant. You have to memorize where everything is, which gets really, really hard for me. So I love to play this game because it becomes quite a challenge. So let's go ahead and read the lore. Locals have reported large quantities of anomalous events happening at the location. The epicenter seems to be a parked locomotive at the center of the railway station. A body was found inside the train. We have not yet been able to identify the body due to the extreme damage caused to it by what appears to have been a gigantic blunt instrument wielded with immense strength. Strange mumbling resembling no known language has been heard from the train. Numerous passengers have reported luggage disappearances and leaving the train with items that they did not enter the train with. Funny how you're the only one talking. Yeah. It tends to be that way. I have one guy in here who comes uh, from time to time named Contradictionary. I call him Contradictory, though, because Contradictionary is a bit long. Um... He, he interacts quite a lot. Um, I quite enjoy 
I quite enjoy his presence. I, I enjoy having you here as well. I enjoy having all three of you guys who are watching here with me. Um, even if you are just lurking and not talking. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start. So once we do a full lap around the cameras, we will have anomalies start to pop up. And we have to report them. So we have to remember what this looks like. And as we have to get to six, like a normal FNAF night. Um, you might watch more vids, so you're going to sub. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you for the hearts. All right. You've made a lap around. Um... Anomalies should start appearing at around 015. So if y'all see something, please say something. Because if I don't see something, I probably won't see it for the rest of the game. You can't have more than three anomalies going at the same time, too. Making a FNAF game as well. Ooh, cool. Thinking that's not right. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, hi. That's duplication. That's duplicating cups. That's duplicating cups. Cups aren't duplicating. They shouldn't be doing that. Hang on. All right. So that's our first anomaly. Certainly isn't our last, though. Might give you a link when it's done. That sounds cool. I might play it on stream if it's good. I've been trying to make a habit out of streaming more. Anyways, stuff like uh, signs can change as well. That's as far as I know. So like, sometimes this can say like, leave hell or stuff like that. Oh, that's not normally open. There we go. Okay. I am a smart man, I think. But yeah, as time goes on, the difficulty gets worse and we get more concerning anomalies. One anomaly that I'm not quite fond of is just random men appearing. Oh, missed. Weird thing. So sometimes uh, changes can be as minuscule as like this sliding just a little bit to the left or to the right. And sometimes it can just be full on dead bodies right here.
You'll be back. All right. Take your time. Bro. Okay, that was the that was the bell for one. So more anomalies should start spawning. Um, report lights private car. Alright. Wait, hang on. No, nothing changed. I have to be careful because sometimes you can just see like USBs inserted into that one computer in the private car. And like you're not, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be able to tell if that ever happens. Oh, that chair is not supposed to be turned like that. That is for certain. Welcome back. You didn't miss that much. That's for sure. Hmm. There, I don't really, have, I wish I had like a process, like searching, but I don't really no. Like how, how to tell, really. The stuff is going on. Was the, oh! the door open and not down which room which room I'm not seeing any doors having been knocked down. Second one from the big room. So one. This. I that that's just a um. That's that's just like a 
table, like a bedside table. Oh, imminent collision. With what? No, oh, you're talking about this, maybe. Um, I think that's just a mat. All right. We just hit two. Four more hours to go. And I do need to be careful because there's a chance for me to lose a com lose a camera is there distortion happening in here sorry something's going on in there okay Have a game for me to play? Ooh, what is it? I don't think that cup's supposed to be there. Ooh, that's... fixed it's newest one but the graphics are a bit bad all right I saw that happen. I saw it. Don't say don't say that you didn't see it. these anomalies because like that there should be a ton of them right now I'm just not seeing any I don't feel comfortable with that magazine rack back there because I'm scared that something's gonna change back there other than that though oh Void presence, Vo abyss, abyss, uh... This, whatever this is. All right. Um, hi, hi, hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. We're safe from the guy. I think. 
Don't smile, Day. Blood on chair in the room with the man? Where? Oh! Pass a proof? Sorry, I, I don't speak Spanish. Right side, okay. I don't see any blood. Oh, French. Um, I think, I don't know. I, I only really speak English, I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, that changed. Is this a train? Yes. This is a train. We are looking for anomalies. Like stuff out, that's out of the ordinary, stuff moving on its own. It's like a spot the difference game, except you never know when the differences are going to appear. Approved? Oh. Hmm. VTuber plus furry isn't nice. You need a change. Um, God... God made me this way. God made me like what I like. And there's nothing that can change the way that God made me. Um... Telling other people to change just because of the way that you don't like things is not a godly thing to do. I'm assuming that you're Christian because the majority of anti-furries are Christian, Orthodox, Catholic. Um, around that religion. I am too. I'm non-denominational. Non Undenominational Christian. Didn't that used to be like a little bit further down? But yeah, um, if you decide, if you try to bash on other people for the way that they are, the way that they live their life in accordance with their own morals and their principles, then I feel like you need to get a reevaluation of your own morals and principles. He's too epic to change. Probably not. I, I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna call it. I'm just probably not. Unless you know him in real life or something. There's got to be something that's changed here. It's been too long. Why can't people just be nice to each other? I wish it were that way too, but that's really just not how the wor world works. I wish it did work that way though, honestly. Hi, buddy! People do need to be nice, yes.
Alright. What's going on? Whoa, hi. We haven't lost any cameras. I'm in Australia, so most people are nice if they want to be. <sighs> Australia just sounds like a nice place to go to. I'm in the United States, unfortunately. So basically every part of my life is politicized. Uh, what is going- oh, this is not supposed to be moldy. Okay. That's been taken care of. What else? What else am I missing? Once you enter, you'll never leave. That's not how it's supposed to be. Um... What else? What else? What else is wrong? I'm not seeing anything else. That's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's not how it's supposed to be. That's not supposed to be a cup there. Okay, that has been fixed. We're so close to finishing up. The two people who haven't said a word. Ah, I mean, I'm just happy to have them here, honestly. If they're just watching and enjoying the content, I'm cool with it. Where is this next thing that's going to happen? Oh, that thing. That's where that next thing is going to happen. I'm worried that it'll get to the point where it's, like, so hard to manage in terms of, like, there's one thing, and then while you're reporting that, it, you have to report a different thing almost immediately after. Hmm. What is that? It's the unknown. I wouldn't last a minute on that game. It takes a bit of practice. That's that's for sure. It's it's like brain training. It's like a brain training game. Oh, the shoes. The shoes. They're discombobulated.
Um. Hmm. No. Oh. Okay, one more hour to go. One more hour. Oh, corpse. Do I like natural disaster games? Um, sometimes, if they're done right, then yes. Oh, here comes the music. Oh, boy. Mm, goodness gracious. I gotta lock in. Yours is a natural disaster game with a tornado. Ooh. That sounds interesting. One of the things that I'm worried about is that, um, is those dials in the control cabin. I'm worried about that changing. And bazookas. Ooh. Okay, that makes it significantly better, right? In my opinion. Oh. Oh! What on earth is that? What on earth is that? What on earth is that? I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Easter update. Woo! Oh, uh, distortion, distortion, distortion dining car. I don't like that. Okay, so I guess I know what a distortion is now. At least for that room. Would I play it? Um. I mean, I'd have to make sure that nothing is wrong with it, or like, I mean, like, make sure that there's no bad things in it, but other than that, yeah, I'd, I'd stream it. You know, I, I'm not, like, saying that there would be anything wrong, but I still have to make sure just in case. We are so close to the end. Bit of blood? That's fine. That is cool with me. Pools of blood? Yeah, that's still cool. I'm not as strict on, like, family friendliness as other people are. I used to be, but times change. Where's all the stuff? Where's everything that goes on? Oh, what? What did I miss? Extra object, missing object, extra object. Hmm. 
All right, that's fine. Let's play a different map. Let's play... Which one should we play? What should we play? I'm thinking... Pool? All right. The city of Redacted has closed off one of their public pools due to anomalous activity. Several people have been found drowned in the pool during the late hours of the night. None of them had a history of illnesses, and all their families and friends testified that they were skillful swimmers. During the two weeks prior to the pool's closure, swimmers reported someone or something trying to pull them underwater while they were in the pool. Many visitors have reported missing belongings and a general sense of being watched. Strange light phenomena has been observed in this general area around the pool at night. Alright. Oh, that's... Oh, that's AI. That's AI art. That's not good. I'm swimming, same just swims, you're watching where swage door. Also, the game is three player. Oh, I'd have to find two other people to play with. with. Rit Rulon Varfti Rutownig. Uh, th that's that's gonna throw me off a lot because I'm gonna think that that's not normal. Ooh. Oh crap. Okay. We've gone through it all this time, so should be stuff happening. I haven't played this map that much, I'm going to be honest. Which is definitely going to make it a lot harder. Hmm. I don't trust that, like, that big pool view. I don't trust it at all. Like, this view. Yeah, I don't trust that. Where's the anomalies at? Not really seeing that much happening. No, I don't think that's supposed to be on. Okay, no, it's supposed to be on, apparently. What am I missing? There's, there's got to be something that I'm missing right now. Alright, I'll check that out later on. Ooh, 
Where is the stuff? There's supposed to be stuff happening. Where is that stuff? What? What are you talking about? What do you mean you're receiving multiple reports of anomalies? I am not seeing anything. Um, it's 7.41. I gotta go at 8. Yeah, I, I gotta go in like... At 8 year time as well. Abomination that is protogens. Let me gl grab the bleach. Always oh, nice to have some uh, friendly banter about species. Welcome. Anyways, where's the stuff that I am missing? What am I looking for? This has to be the most obvious stuff and I'm missing it. I don't understand. Is it? Ah, crap, crud. Zero anomalies, what did I miss? Extra object shower, object replacement pool, extra object entrance. What on earth? Okay. Here, let's try Summer Cottage. Let's try this one. Our international branch has received reports of anomalous events happening in a remote summer cottage in northern Finland. Numerous instances of object replacement and extra objects were reported by the owner. They originally thought their wife had been bringing old junk to the cottage, but later realized that the objects appearing were of anomalous origin. The owner of the cottage says they witnessed a large, messy, and extremely malodorous man emerging from the woods to chop wood in their yard. The owner's wife recalled moments where they were sitting by the sauna and could swear that they saw a humanoid-looking creature in the water. All right. This is much better. This is much, much better. This looks so much better. Okay, I can't, I can't be off guard or caught off guard by the water sounds. That's something that's going to be happening. Should be an anomaly happening pretty soon. All right. So where is it? Where are you, buddy? Come here.
I wonder if you could train an AI to, like, play this. All right, where's the stuff that's going on? Is that a thing that should be there or no? Oh, that's full of eyeballs. I'm pretty sure that's full of eyeballs. I called it, I called it, I called it. I actually feel confident in my ability to see for once. Yeah, um, I would like to say, I don't know why I've gotten so much hate today from during the stream. I've got people saying I need to change. Got somebody saying that protogens are abominations. I don't understand. What is it? What is it with everybody today that's causing this? Because, like, I don't normally get this. gonna make a shot in the dark and say that something's going on right there nothing's going on right there okay I think the car color can change at times oh that's not supposed to be there this is a cottage not some people in are in a bad mood, yeah. But I don't I don't think it's right for people to take it out on other people. I definitely am kind of guilty of that, but like when you purposefully seek people out to do it too, then I think it's kind of a different story. Like if you just kind of snap at someone like in real life. Um, I think that's forgivable, but, like, you had to actively seek me out and say, Oh, VTuber furry, you need to change. I don't think you're doing the right thing when you do that. I know, trust me, I feel you. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, you don't get to escape. I watch the stream just to hate I think it just kind of pops up on these people's recommended I think that's like the story of Undertale whoa what okay I, I was just seeing the trees moving the trees moving is throwing me off I'm gonna be honest
This did indeed pop up on your recommended. Ah. Yeah, I I don't know why, but I've been starting to get recommended to a lot more people recently, and I'm quite enjoying it, honestly. I don't normally... I haven't really ever done the streaming thing. This is It's only recently that my parents have even allowed me to start doing it, but honestly, I... I I kind of prefer it over, like, just normal video making at this point. What's that up there? I don't trust that up there. Okay, that's nothing, apparently. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for tuning into the stream. When will be the next time you stream? Mm. There's not really a set uh, time. Um, best way to tell is to like follow my Twitter if you have one. I don't really post there at all, but I do have it set up to automatically tell when I start streaming. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a set schedule because a lot of the t a lot of the time, a lot of things get in the way of streaming, and I just kind of have to work around that I'm not big enough like in terms of streaming to try and have my schedule work around the streaming instead of the other way around although I would like for it to be like that oh hatchet in the door hatchet in the door Sometimes I call it a hatchet, sometimes I call it an axe. There's no telling. But yeah, let me go ahead and... That is my Twitter. I put it in the chat. I'm planning on doing like a complete rebranding of my channel to fit the you know the protogen Eddie Gujin thing. Um that floor looks very empty. Are you sure? No normally are you sure that nothing was found? Okay. That's not supposed to be there. No, it is. Okay. All right. What? Okay. Yes. That would be me. Um, where is the stuff that I am missing? Those. That stuff. That stuff. That's bad stuff. Um. What else am I missing? Oh, 
Uh, distortion and kitchen. Distortion and kitchen. Thank you. What? Oh! All right, that's probably gonna be it for today. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a good day.